And because he had dragons. <sighs> well, having a few dragons makes things easier. You don't believe it. Have you ever seen a dragon, Talisi? I believe what my eyes and ears report. As for the rest, it was 300 years ago. Who knows what really happened? A thousand blades taken from the hands of Aegon's fallen enemies, forged in the fiery breath of Beleriand the Dread. There aren't a thousand blades. There aren't even two hundred. I've counted. Ha! Huh, I'm sure you have. It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. The girl at the edge of the world is the least of our problems. She has three dragons. Hmm. But even if what they say is true, it'll be years before they are fully grown. And then there'll be nowhere to hide. Tell me about the Targaryen girl in the east and her dragons. Where did you hear about this? Is it true? Apparently so. Don't you think we ought to do something about it? When I was Hand of the King under your father's predecessor, the skulls of all the Targaryen dragons were kept in this room. The skull of the last of them was right here. It was the size of an apple. And the biggest was the size of a carriage. Yes, and the creature to whom it belonged died 300 years ago. Curiosities on the far side of the world are no threat to us. But how do we know these dragons are just curiosities and not the beasts? that brought the whole world to heel. Because we have been told as much by the many experts who serve the realm by counseling the king on matters about which he knows nothing. But I haven't been counseled. You are being counseled at this very moment. And she has three dragons. Baby dragons. Larger every year, your grace. Dragons haven't won a war in 300 years. Armies win them all the time. She must be dealt with. I will also invite you to sit on the small council to serve as one of the new king's principal advisers. I never realized you had such respect for Dorne, Lord mm. Tywin. We are not the Seven Kingdoms until Dawn returns to the fold. The king is dead. The Greyjoys are in open rebellion. A wildling army marches on the wall, and in the east, a Targaryen girl has three dragons. Before long, she will turn her eyes to Westeros. Only the Dornish managed to resist Aegon Targaryen and his dragons. You're saying you need us. That must be hard for you to admit. We need each other.